This is Inventor Video 3, uh, how to do an assembly. So to get started with the VEX gripper assembly, you're going to have to go to my blog, fhlearn.ca slash sdoroche. And once you're there, you're going to go to courses and check out uh, drafting. And on this page, you'll see all my tutorial videos, um, but under the tutorial videos, there's a link to the Google Drive, um, and that's where you're going to find your assignment. So we'll scroll past the videos, and then when you get out here, um, there's a course outline, and under that, there's the link to the VEX Gripper assignment, which is here, the G Drive link, and then right under that are the videos um, uh, with the instructions on how to get started for that. So click the G Drive link, and once you're there, you're going to download the, uh, or open the Robot Gripper folder, and you're going to download the VEX data files. Um, please don't worry about downloading the videos. It's going to take a ton of time and use up a lot of space on your account. And you really don't need them because I've already, um, I have them posted back on the blog. So download the VEX data files. It's a zip file, so you're going to have to um, extract the files. Once you've done that, you should be looking at something like this. Uh, so let's go check out courses. Let's see where I have them. Drafting. Text data files. So once you open it up, you should have Imperial and Metric. Um, and then you should have all your parts here. So all your components, as well as a components folder with more components and other things. Um, what you're actually making is the gripper assembly. So we're going to open that up so you can see it. And you can see all the parts in that file. We'll give it a second to open and load. So I've opened the Imperial one, the one in inches. So we'll wait a sec, give it a bit to load. Still waiting, it's a little slow today. So we have this file here. So now that you have this open, um, you can see that this actually moves, um, and this is the goal of what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to put this together so that it moves. Here are all the files that we have here on the left, are all the components that have made this file. So how do we get started? Well, the first thing, there's a, a video that shows you how to make this um, bracket subassembly. You're not going to be... You're not going to be inserting the subassembly. You're actually going to be making the subassembly. So the videos are there on my blog showing you how to get started with that. And I'll also show you how to get started. So again, that's on courses, drafting. Um, the videos are posted there where I showed you. So I'll let that load. We'll come back to that in a little bit. So we need to figure out what we need for this. So you can do that by watching the video. But you can actually open the subassembly and take a look at all the parts. Uh, so first we have bearing screws, uh, what else do we have? We have brackets, um, more screws, VEX brackets. So we're going to start our own assembly and uh, we'll get started on this. So we're going to open a new file. Uh, you can choose metric or imperial, it's up to you. I've opened the imperial file, so I'm going to open imperial uh, or English. And this time we're going to open an assembly file. So we're going to open the standard inch IAM, create. And you're going to end up with a blank canvas. So this is where you put all your parts in. So this is like your like your workbench. So we're going to place, and we're not going to place some content center. We're just going to use place, and then open a folder for that. Uh. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to start by looking for the VEX bracket. The VEX bracket I have here, and I'm going to insert this in twice. When you're done, right click OK. And then I'll just insert a few other pieces to show you how to get started. Give me a bit. Um, so we'll insert a few fasteners. We can add insert a gear, sure. And we'll insert a few more fasteners, and I'll show you how it all kind of goes together. So what do we want? Bearing rivet. Oh, that one's kind of garbage. We'll add in a beam. And maybe we'll add in some. Let's add in an axle, just so you can see. It's called shaft on here. Shaft. Okay, so I've just picked some kind of random parts. Uh, you're going to want to actually follow the assembly and add these specific parts. If you can't find the specific part, look for a similar one. Um, so I'm just going to show you kind of how to get started. The first thing you're going to notice um, as you're assembling things is that square things 
uh, don't like to go into round holes and vice versa. Round things don't like to go into square holes. So first thing you're going to want to do is edit this bracket. And everywhere that there's a square, you're going to want to draw a circle. So I double clicked it. I'm going to go to sketch and I'm going to sketch on this face. And everywhere that there's a square, I'm going to want to draw a circle. So I'll just click a line from corner to corner. And then I'm going to draw a circle in the middle, like so. And then you can continue and draw circles and circles. Like I'll draw, I don't know, I'll draw another one, two. But you're going to draw circles in all of the rectangles. Uh, and then also on the shafts, the rectangular shafts here, these you're going to want to draw circles on each end. So I'll double click, I'll sketch on the end, and you want to draw circles. Now when you draw a circle on one, it'll update and draw a circle on the others, so that's fine. Um, but you're going to get circles on those, and I'll show you why um, in just a second. So uh, let's assemble a few things. So uh, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to put this stand off, and I'm going to put it between these two brackets. So what I have to do is I have to lay out the center with this and line it up with the center of those. So I'm going to go here to Constrain. This is the button we're going to use primarily. And I'm going to hover over this piece until I get the central axis, which is the line through the middle, um, and it actually comes up as axis. So I want to line up the central axis of this to say the central axis here. So drawing a circle on this square has allowed for it to have an axis. So we're going to line that up and it goes thunk and it makes this really kind of satisfying sound. Um, apply. We want to do that again. So right now this is lined up with that. And we want to line up with this one as well. So we're going to go constrain. And let's line up the central axis of this with the central axis of this. you got to kind of get it. There we go. Apply. Right, and so right now we have like all the brackets are all over the place. So, so let's next take this one bracket. We're going to ground it so it stops moving around. So we're going to ground it so when I grab it, it doesn't move around. Um, so this one can still move, but it's lined up here, and this one can still move. So if I actually want to put them together, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the underside of this with the top face of this, and then the top side with the underside of that. So I'm going to go into Constrain, and I'm going to first rotate. I'm going to select the bottom face of this, so that's this face here, and I want to mate it with the top face of this, like so, and then it goes thunk, and it connects onto that, and we want to do that again, this time we're going to go, we're going to mate the underside of this, like here, and we're going to mate it with the top face of the other one, so I'll zoom in to get, there we go, thunk, apply. Um, so now you have everything aligned. It still should rotate at this point, um, but we have that aligned. And this is where you can start adding in other pieces. You may want to not. You may not want to insert uh, this bracket already, um, because then you can't add all the other parts in the middle. That's more or less how you get going. When you want parts to move, so if you want something to rotate, in your constraint menu, you have. We're just using a mate, but you can also use motion. And this is where you can get things to rotate in the same direction, or you can get things to rotate in opposite directions. That's more or less how you get started. So start by watching those YouTube videos, um, the ones that I was alluding to on here, um, right here, VEX Class Assembly. Watch these two get started, make your sub-assembly, um, and then refer to the actual completed grip bar assembly uh, for the other parts and what goes next, and you're going to have to figure that out. On the next video, I'll show you, um, once you're done with your assembly, I'll show you how to make a presentation and how to uh, hand that in. And that's it.